This is awesome. <laughs> What makes competing against Giannis enjoyable? Uh, what makes uh, competing against Giannis enjoyable? I mean, uh, he's uh, of course freak, freak of nature, and he's uh, so dominant. Uh, but he, also, he's reading the game, and he's uh, he's uh, he's trying to make the right play. So it's just interesting to, to see even him growing. You know. What stood out to you about the, the defense tonight, in particular from you know KCP and, and Peyton Watson got a lot of defensive yeah. minutes tonight? I mean, yes, they, they have a great team, of course. They have a, a perfect fit uh, for the play style they have. Um, and we, 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 we just needed to make, 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 uh, make hard on them, you know. So I think the third quarter was really good for us. And they scored uh, 19 points. That was uh, something that, uh, that was a um, we show ourselves that we can we can make stops, and I think in the fourth quarter it was a good defense. At the end, of course, there was some slippage, but uh, I think overall it was a good. They scored 107 points. I think it's good, uh, especially the team how they uh, how they're playing and what they average. So I think that that was that was uh, uh, important for us. We call it uh, Michael Malone record his fourth win as a Nugget. What does that mean to you guys to get him that win? Uh, it's nice. I got to be close to. <laughs> I mean, it's just uh, I just like to enjoy and, and the growth and, uh, and uh, like every year we're getting better every year. It's an upgrade for us, and it's just um, I'm happy to, to be a part of that journey for him uh, with him. And uh, I think we we made um, we made such a nice impact in this organization in the city. You guys outscored Milwaukee uh, 15 to 10 in the clutch. Uh, they were the number one uh, clutch team in the NBA coming into tonight. Um, you guys also have the number one clutch defense. What's working for you guys on the defensive side of the ball uh, late in games? Uh, I mean, to be honest, it's got to be like the, the guys who are playing really good, like AG, KCP, Pivot, like that. And we are just there to make them look, don't make them look stupid, you know, just be there and try to protect them. Uh, but they're the main guys that are uh, doing the old work. We are just there to you know, help, them, help them. How do you think Peyton is progressing with the the understanding of the game? The mental part, meaning he's a young player, Peyton Watson. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I think he's getting better, you know, um, uh, even, in, like, even in possession. Like the day he told me, I'm going to cut here next to he was Like, he, even he, him is... Uh, Figuring it out, so I think uh, you know. I think just by playing, I would say that just by, play, by just by playing, I think you're getting better and just experience wise and like learning the system, the the spots on the court, just the feel for the game. Nicole, I was going to ask you for some of the younger guys. The game likes to not was was closed throughout the gritty. Uh, how important is it for the young guys to go through these kind of games before you guys reach the playoffs? I mean, to be honest, that's why we play. Probably, I mean, that's why I play to play these kind of games, to play to play under the pressure, to play uh, to play uh, tight games. You know, I think that's that's what every player's dream is. You know, to to perform or not to perform in, in those situations. You know, I think even if you don't perform in those situations, it's a, it's a still a lesson. Doesn't mean you're a bad player. You know, it's a just happen, happens to be like that. So I think I, I love to play under those uh, circumstances. Circumstances. Circumstance. Circumstances, so I think it's a great uh, for for young guys, especially. You had a lot of battles with Dame through the years. What does he look like on this team to you? Is it different seeing him with Giannis and, the, and this kind of a team? I mean, of course, uh, it's a it's a completely different uh, system for uh, even he said it's a Giannis team, but uh, you know he's he's a great player and. Uh, we, we, we spend a lot of time in, in, a pre, in the scouting and pre-game meeting about him just because he's such a great player and a great threat for them and they're using they're using him I think the, the right way the, you know some nights are, some nights are good some nights are bad but I think I think they're gonna be really good. Nicola, Coach Malone said before the games that that you guys looked at the standings as a team. How often do you look at the standings and if you did today, did you have any reaction or? 
No, I never look to be honest. I don't I don't look. I think it's too early. I'm sorry. No, it's <laughs> that's your honest answer. <laughs> Nicole, why did you want to come out so early to talk to us today? Because I have things to do. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, uh, you and Giannis have played against each other a lot over the course of these years. Just how much of an appreciation do you have for him as a as a competitor, but also just how impressive and yeah. physical? I mean, he he's uh, he's. Uh, I think he's a great competitor. He's, uh, he wants to win every game. He like he's playing with such a force, with such a power of will. I'm gonna say, he is. He really wants to win every game, and uh, and I think that that's what makes him uh, good and great, actually. So in every every game, every whatever we play, I mean, is, is it uh, back in Europe, uh, national teams, here here All Star? He always wants to win a game. Cool. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.